Welcome to the channel. So I'm out here filming a review for this beautiful one wheel pint, amazing piece of tech. But uh, the mosquitoes are so bad here, I'm, I might have to give up and head back inside. So we'll see how we do, but I'm ready to give up already. back inside. So I've been riding the one wheel pint now for a month and right now as of the time of this recording I have 204 kilometers so that's an average of 6.8 kilometers a day so basically one battery a day. Uh, I love this thing so much I don't think about anything else except for when's the next time I can ride when's that battery gonna be charged. I don't play the drums, I don't make videos, I don't take out the garbage, I hardly eat. All I do is one wheel. Well, that's not true. I, sometimes I one wheel to go get food, which is one of the advantages. So, I'm a snowboarder, uh, not a skateboarder. Coming from this from a snowboard world, I have been watching one wheels and the progression of that since I first saw the Kickstarter back in 2017. Some crazy engineer creating a summertime snowboard experience with a battery that goes up hills. Intrigued much? Of course. So you have the one wheel on the Kickstarter. Then it comes out one wheel plus, a little bit more range. Here comes the next one, one wheel XR. All the while they're updating their algorithms, making the board flow better, changing the parameters, tweaking, updating. Then they bring out the pint last year. And the pint, by most people's perspective, is the first kind of consumer model version where it's all, everything is clean and it doesn't look like you built it in your own garage. And where the pint fits in the hierarchy is you got the one wheel XR, that's the big mama. That's the, the flagship model. That uh, has a top speed, 19 miles per hour, 30 kilometers per hour, 12 to 18 miles range, 19 to 29 kilometers. Uh, and it's also $17.99, so $1,800 for the flagship XR. And you know, I've been looking at this, but I could never justify that price. Then enters the pint. This is the consumer market version, half the price of the XR. Uh, comes in at $9.50 American right now, is what it says on the website at the time I recorded this video. And you're looking at about half the range, it's six to eight miles. Uh, 10 to 13 kilometers and a high speed of 16 miles per hour. That's 26 kilometers per hour. I'm in Canada. I'm using all of those kilometers per hour, the metric system. Get into the metric system. And so, you know, my interest is peaked. A cheaper one wheel. Uh, and then, you know, just watching all the reviews. I'm just like a lot of you are. I wanted a one wheel. This was an entry level one wheel but it wasn't the one that had all the range and all the speed and all the stuff. And so let me put your worries to rest. The Pint is awesome. Pint is like so awesome. Like I still want an XR, but I want an XR2. Cause the Pint is too good. Like it's, it's tiny, you just throw it in your trunk. You go park downtown further from where you want to go, preferably, and just like have the most fun adventure on the way to the, your destination you can have. It's a commuter's dream. You're in a university campus, oh my God. You got that student loan money, buy a pint. You won't regret it, I guarantee you. So what does a pint feel like? You'll often hear people with one wheels referring to floating when they go for a ride. It's very, very similar. As a snowboarder myself, it's very similar to the ride feeling when you're snowboarding in powder. So, you know, like 10 centimeters to deep powder. With this little wheel, see how it's kind of rounded there? It's all dirty. <laughs> you see, it's a little bit rounded on that go-kart tire. And so what that does is makes you need to carve to keep your balance. As a snowboarder, again, when I jumped on this thing, it took maybe a minute to learn how to go forward and how to carve, it's so similar. 
So, what you're talking about here, if you're listening, are you listening to me, uh, snowboarders? This is a skateboard sized snowboard that goes up hills in the summertime. You can't huck yourself off jumps with it. This thing's over 20 pounds, but you're gonna have a blast. Like, it's, I'm just carving all day. So the other concern I had about the pint, so is range. Let me tell you, the range is fine. You get probably an hour and a half to two hours of riding on one battery charge when you're just kind of messing around. When you're when it's taking you up hills, I'm almost 200 pounds. It's uh, it's gonna wear down a lot quicker. But if you're just riding around like flat cities on parks on this on the trails, by the time it's ready to charge, you're ready to go have a bite to eat. So throw it on the charger, go get a bite to eat, and then when you come back, you're ready to ride again. Here's the other thing that this thing is amazing for that you may have heard about it. It's a filmmaking tool. This thing is a dolly that you ride around. Uh, you can get footage with this that you just can't get without it unless you, have, you spend way more money, tens of thousands of dollars, to get the same tools that this gives you. If you're shooting real estate and you have a gimbal and you're trying to get that smooth parallax on your shots, this thing makes that so much easier, so much better. The shots are so smooth, you hardly have to ever even use the digital stabilization in post. It just gives you that extra tool. And at $950, I mean, that's, of course that's expensive. But compared to a lot of your camera gear and camera gear that you probably can write a percentage of that off at the end of the year, because it is actually a very good filmmaking tool. I've used this on real estate. I've used it to get good B-roll for, uh, I've used it to get behind the scene shots. I mean, and then I just use it as transport. I mean, my experiences uh, might be different than others, but like, I, I just, I'm in love with this thing. Uh, I, I, I'm in love with the future that, that produces things like this and it just has uh, given me a great outlet during this hard time when uh, you turn on the news and it's pretty easy to get overwhelmed. Anyways, I hope some of you got something out of this. Uh, if you were on the fence about the pint, I hope that you got some of the information you needed. Um, love this thing. Uh, I got a few upgrades on the way, so keep checking back with the channel. I'm going to get a treaded tire on this, see if that changes the ride experience for the dirt trails. Uh, and, you know, just a few upgrades to make it, customize it, make it my own, as Casey Neistat would do. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, add your voice to the comments. And until the next video, enjoy your life. Bye. Yo, 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 ready for this. This is the math section of the video. If you want to skip over the math section, you can get to the pint review. But by all means, stick around if you're into this math part.